Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be working on all the body work and new panels for the 69 Nova. Now, I've already got a bunch done. Check out the video and see how I got to where we're at right now. All right, we're about to get started taking this quarter panel off so we can put the new one on. I drove up to AMD yesterday. Um, I'm about three hours from Auto Metal Direct in North Georgia. I drove up there, uh, almost died four times. Atlanta traffic, if you're anywhere in Georgia, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, we're going to get this quarter panel off. Went to Harbor Freight. I got a nibbler. I've uh, never used one of these on cars before, but it beats a Ziz wheel, I think. Um, I'm going to drill a couple of holes so I can get this thing started. I'm going to take the majority of the quarter panel off, and that'll leave me the little sections around here and at the door jam and stuff like that that I need to work on the spot welds and air chisel and get all that stuff off and then clean everything up. I picked up two quarter panels, I picked up two outer wheel houses, I picked up a tail light panel and I've got two trunk drop off panels somewhere here at the shop. I gotta look for them, I already had those. And uh, alright, let's get started. There we go. Let's try this again. So I ended up having to use my Ziz wheel to cut up here because the nibbler can't reach around corners like that. I had to cut this overlap seam here with the filler on it. And I had to cut this up here the same way I had to cut back there. And this should come off now. And there we go. And you can see the patch that was on that other one was pretty, pretty brutal of a patch. So. Okay, so I'm going to cut this all the way down close to the rocker. I'm going to get these leaves out of here. Um, I got to get this piece off of here later. I'm going to cut this all the way around the wheel wheel, the outer wheelhouse. And then I'm just going to, most of this is off because the uh, trunk drop off is rusted, is pretty much gone in two. So once I get it loose from right here, it's probably going to come come away anyway. Most of that's rusted pretty bad. You can't tell from here, but it's it's pretty nasty. I'm going to get the leaves out of here and see if we can get the rest of it off. Okay, so I took a little break, went and ate some dinner, went and did some work. Um, I got most of the quarter panel off. There's still a little bit left in the drip rail here. I think it was just cut. I don't think it was ground out. There's a tad bit left on this, or most of it off. I got a little bit left on the wheel wheel. I got the door jam. I got a little piece left here, and I've got some back at the tail light panel. The outer warehouse is fairly rusty. I don't think I want to change the whole thing. I might patch it in. I might change the whole thing. It looks like a billion spot welds on there. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. But um, I'm going to show you a few things up here by the door jam area and the rocker that are going to be a little, little tricky to, to get loose. If you're going to take one of these off and replace it, um, if it's rusted through here, chances are your outer wheelhouse is going to have a lot of rust in it too. On my 73, I just patched that in. I didn't do the whole quarter because they're not available. Um, I cut one of these quarters long ways and put those in, put that in. But the wheelhouse was uh, only rotten, I think, back here in the last, last little section. So I sectioned in a piece of a new wheelhouse. This one's rotten more and the amount of welding I would do to cut across here and all the way down is way more welding than I would do 
up here to, to tack it in, but at the same time, it's behind this, there's a billion spot welds. Ugh. Makes me nauseous looking at it. All right. So you've got a whole bunch of spot welds on the bottom. This is the quarter panel folds in and goes and lays on top of the rocker. I'm not real sure how I'm gonna weld that back. Um, I guess I can go in through this hole. I'll take the regulator out, go in through this hole and um, weld that back. I'll drill some spot things and see if I can put a couple of screws in it to get it held down tight and then go back and weld through. So there's this plate and what I'm going to do here to get this loose is I'm going to go in here and grind these uh, I might have to cut some more out of the way right here to get to the last couple but I'm going to go ahead and just grind these out instead of drilling them out because I don't want to tear up the rocker so I'd rather just grind a little bit on each weld and then hit it with the air chisel and peel that up it might peel up without grinding on them once I cut, cut over a little farther but I'm not sure now up here in the striker area you've got this panel that is welded to the inner door frame or I'm sorry inner quarter frame and it goes up and into the B pillar it comes over here and it is spot welded along here up up in this area and right here and then I think the quarter panel is spot welded just up here in the very corner um, and then it's spot welded right around the jam I'm sorry right around the striker so I'm going to try to grind all that from the quarter panel side. I'm going to I'm going to kind of mark where they are over here. Should be able to see them once I hit the once I hit it with a grinding wheel on the other side. I should be able to see where the spot welds are. And then what I'm going to do is just grind wherever there's a spot weld. I'll grind the material away on this side. That way I leave my material on the back in good shape. Because what I don't want to do is what's been done here and all the spot welds somebody used a spot weld cutter to drill the spot welds out and they drilled through the second panel and now there's a bunch of cleanup that's got to be done on the other side i don't want i don't want to do that so i'm going to take the striker out and then i want to leave this plate here and that way it'll kind of give me a a reference and then hopefully this new panel is going to keep i had a pretty good door gap so i want to keep that on there um if it doesn't i, I you know i can adjust it but that's a lot of work too. Right now I gotta figure out if I'm gonna section in this outer wheelhouse or if I'm gonna replace the whole thing. And like I said, it goes up here and goes behind all this. And that's a pretty good bit of work to go in there and get all of that out. And I, I, I really, I'd rather not do that. Um, you got this on there. We'll see, like I said, make it easier to line up, but you know, I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of late, so I want to work on this a little bit without making too much noise and see you guys in the morning. You can kind of see once you cut this off, if, you, if, if your inner wheelhouse or I'm sorry, your outer wheelhouse is in good shape, um, try not to cut through it like I did in a few spots. Um, this one has been rolled and it looks like it was rolled with a dang grenade. Um, so some of it's in good shape. I think some of this is surfaced. I'll, I'll find out when I get it cleaned up better. But anyway, the quarter panel just kind of lays under there and it's, it's spot welded on the bottom, not up here. So this stuff, if your wheelhouse is in good shape, if you cut it like this and stay up kind of high and get away from scarring it up, you should be able to just bend your quarter panel down. And then you should be able to go in there and uh, Either grind out your spot welds or, you know, use your air chisel to chisel around them and it'll tear the metal and leave them and then you can grind them off afterwards. So uh, a lot of time that air chisel does a pretty good job of separating the, uh, separating the welds. There's not a whole lot of material left here, but like I said, it'll, it'll fold down out of the way and then I can get the wheelhouse cleaned up and see what I'm going to do with the wheelhouse. Like I said, it's got a pretty good bit of rust up here but I really don't want to section in the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the entire outer wheelhouse. Um, I really don't want to, but I really don't want to do as much welding as it'll take to patch it in. Um, Cause the only thing I hate more than putting 5,000 little tiny tack welds on a, on a joint when you're welding it together is grinding 5,000 little tack welds on a joint. 
um, after you've welded it together to get it smooth. Even though it's going to be behind a quarter panel, you know, it, it'll bug me. So um, I'm going to remove it. The problem is this, this structure right here is on the outside of it. This is on top of it and behind it, or, or, or this is behind this also. So I've already, took, uh, I've already took the air chisel and got that piece up. Gonna do this piece. Um, I probably need to cut around it and do that. I'm gonna try to get it, try to see how much it's gonna take to get this off. I don't care if I destroy this, but I don't wanna destroy this or the inner wheelhouse. Now would really be a really good time to mini tub it and put some DSE mini tubs in it, but you know I don't have time to wait on that, so um, we're not gonna do it. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get this off without destroying the rest of the car. Um, this part up here is gonna be aggravating. Might be a trick to it, but I don't know it, so I'm gonna do the best I can, and I'll try to get some of it on video. Well, I just had a little grinding wheel explode on me. Sound like a little gunshot. I squeeze the trigger and pow, so now I'm kind of afraid to... Okay, not so bad. See if we can get this cut. I'm gonna try to cut the, uh, try to cut up here as close as I can, and then uh, get most of the wheelhouse off, and then once I get it off, I can go back and clean up this edge. Okay, this is this is being a pain in the butt. So the outer wheelhouse is sandwiched between this support and the inner wheelhouse. Well, yeah, that's that's how it's done. And then you also have this support that comes down and is tack welded, or spot welded, sorry, to the top of it. And then it goes up and it's behind that also. Um, what I ended up doing was I was trying to drill some of the welds out and that wasn't working. You can see where I drilled a bunch of holes here. I drilled a bunch of holes here. Um, and I, I'm butchering my metal that I wanted to leave there. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's metal. You can weld it back, but still. So what I ended up doing is taking my plasma cutter and I just cut around this and cut out and cut around here and got it all out of the way. And if you can tell right here, I'm not sure if you can see in the light. Let's see if the camera's going. Okay. So right at the very bottom right here is where this thing is um, welded. You can get behind there pretty good ways, but right around here is where the welds are. And there's a bunch of them. I'm going to take the air hammer. It, it, it hasn't worked so far, but I'm going to take the air hammer now that i got most of this out of the way and see if I can get the air hammer behind there and knock some of those off without damaging the backside. Also, if that doesn't work, I'm going to take my cutoff wheel and just, I kind of tried it on the other side. You can, you can probably see where I've got some grind marks on here. I'm going to take my cutoff wheel and I'm going to run my cutoff wheel down there and see if I can grind just this metal away so that the rest of it behind it is good. Now, the outer wheelhouse also attaches to the back side of the rocker so, and then the inside of the rocker flange here. So this is not wheelhouse, this is rocker. The wheelhouse tucks in behind it. And then the wheelhouse also is spot welded to the uh, end of the rocker. There's a hole in the end of the rocker, I believe, and there's a flange going around. So you can kind of sand away the undercoating if you have it and you can kind of find out where the spot welds are you can look and see usually you can see them i'm going to take my ziz wheel i'm going to grind the spot wheels down and hopefully i can pop that away as far as on this i'm not sure how i'm going to get this piece out of the rocker without tearing the rocker up i'm going to try and uh anyway once we get that out of the way i'll figure out how i'm going to get behind this piece get the rest of it cleaned up straightened back out i've still got a piece down here the uh, inner wheelhouse is rusted right here, but I'm probably just going to make a patch panel for that because I sure don't want to have to change all of this. If I do, then it's just getting some Detroit Speed mini tubs. All right, back to work. I'll show you progress in a few minutes. All right, so I ended up using the air chisel, air hammer, to get most of this old off where it meets the inner wheelhouse. And the collateral damage was pretty high in some spots. You know, I can, I boogered it up pretty good there. I'm going to fix some of that. And then I used a 40 grit grinding wheel, I think, on a little DA sander. Um, 
and got most of the uh, small pieces off. This kind of stuff right here, I went through there and just kind of ground it down. You see where I tore through in a couple of spots where the, you know, it, it tears the it tears the flange off. What what's left of the outer wheelhouse pretty good, but in some spots, I guess the welds are a lot better, and it just pulls part of the inner panel apart. Um, I was using my Ziz wheel to grind off some stuff. You can see some spots here where I ground it, and it tore pretty easy, and that part looks pretty good. But man, it took forever to get just that little section. Um, and then not everywhere, I did the same thing up here, not everywhere works out great like that. The, uh, the welds are about every half inch, and some of them are the size of a pinhead, and some of them are the size of a pinhead. Like. So anyway, I've still got to get my quarter panel. I hit this with a wire brush where you can see where the spot welds are. Um, I'm going to go through there and cut all those out, leave as much of the rocker. I'm, I'm trying not to take any of the metal off the rocker. And then I'll get that cut out, get the jam cut out, get all that cleaned up real good, get this fabricated. I'll get my wheelhouse fit better, get all this stuff put back in place, and um, get the whole thing sandblasted, get my quarter panel test fit. Um, well, actually, that's after, that'll be after I take the roof skin off because the quarter panel goes under the roof skin. So um, now the roof skin, it looks like it's going to fit pretty good. It's over there on top of Franken Nova. You can see in my messy shop, I got five vehicles in here right now, so it's a fairly tight fit, but I can still get to my tools, and I still have enough room to work on this disaster right here. Okay, at the quarter panel, the quarter panel goes up under here, folds under another piece, and then the roof skin lays on top of that. There's still a little bit of the old quarter panel underneath this part of the roof skin. Originally, there's a lead seam here on top of some spot welds from the factory. And then you have spot welds going all the way across this flange that the windshield lays in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully, without damaging the inner structure, because there's an inner structure fairly close to the roof skin, I'm going to go around and cut the majority of the roof skin out. And once I get that done, then I can come back and cut the sections out, um, get the spot welds ground out, and get that, get that all out. And then we can pull the little sections out, clean everything up, be ready to put the new one in. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, you can see a lot of the filler in here. but um, So I've still got a little piece of the quarter panels underneath the roof skin. I'm not too much worried about that right now. The, um, the plan is to go to the front two corners and the other quarter panel corner and uh, sand off all the primer and paint. Go ahead and get the lead melted out of that. And be careful, careful, careful when you're messing with lead. Um, it's not good for you. Now, I'm going to cut, once I get that done, I'm going to cut the whole roof skin all the way around. And you need to be careful of the inner structure. You don't want to cut any of that. I'll probably use a combination of an air hammer, um, air chisel with a cutting bit on it, and um, a death wheel, ziz wheel, and cut that all the way around. So um, get the main portion, and then I can go in and cut the spot welds out all along the front and back and on the sides. On the drip well rails here, I'm gonna cut right through here, and then I'll go back and clean all the stuff up on the inside, kinda like what I did with the quarter panel right there, and try not to mess anything up underneath. So on the front, you can see I've got big gaping holes, um, and you can see some inner structure in there. So like I said, you don't wanna go too deep, but, you know, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it all cut out, and then we'll get it cleaned up, get it ready. I'll probably get the new roof skin laid on here and test fit and show you guys that. But I won't weld it in until I've got both quarter panels on and all of this other stuff done. I've got this quarter panel completely off. And I haven't, I've got some stuff test fit, not the quarter panel yet because it actually goes up under the roof skin. So I've got the outer wheelhouse test fit. I had to make a piece for this. Um, I've got the trunk drop off there. This car has actually been hit from the side, and all this you can see is kind of twisted and mangled up. I'm going to change that later, not yet, because when I do, I'm cutting the roll bar out. Um, for right now, it's going to have to just get tacked as close as I can get it to correct, and then I'll adjust everything um, later. 
I'm going to tack the tail light panel in instead of having it fully welded so I can take it out and get around the quarters. The quarters will be tack welded here at the back. That way I can get the trunk pan out and get it back in without having to destroy my new quarter panels. Anyway, once I get the roof skin kind of set in here and make sure I've got everything cleaned up, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to go ahead and get the other quarter panel off, another wheelhouse and everything, pretty much the same state I've got this. Then I'm going to take everything outside. Uh, I'm going to sandblast it, get all the rust off of it, put something on it, um, some kind of rust proofing or epoxy or something. And then we'll start putting everything back together and get it all welded in and be ready for an engine and transmission. Anyway, let's get started on the roof skin. All right, so the first thing you want to do, and I'm wearing a mask if I sound muffled. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to expose all your lead on your seams. I'm using like an 80 grit roll lock disc. I've got some old ones that I use just for getting stuff out of the way. Um, anyway, I'm going to expose all the lead seam, and then we're going to go in and uh, hit it with a torch and run, it all the, run all the lead out of it. Okay, so the lead is mostly like right here, and the way you can find it, you can take a little sharp screwdriver or a scratch awl or something and you just kind of pull it down and when you hit the lid it's going to get real soft all right and then it'll get hard again so as soon as you're done it'll slip so pretty much from there to there is the lid um and there might be a little bit more where it's where it's filtered out but that's the thicker part of it um we're going to hit this with the torch now you got an old car like this that's been sitting outside there's going to be leaves everywhere i had a couple of fires taking that quarter panel off where i used a plasma cutter um anyway we're going to hit this with a torch we're going to keep the flame away from it because it does not take much heat to melt lead we're going to get that run down and hopefully not on me and let's get to it Okay, I had to get out of the shop for a few minutes. Let the ventilation fan keep me uh, keep me alive here. All right, so you can see now where the um, where the roof seam overlaps the A pillar, and then there's some spot welds right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out pretty much across here, and then go all the way down the drip rail, and then I'll come back and I'll uh, kind of cut out these spot welds right here. <laughs> this is pretty much already gone drill out these spot welds right here and then whatever's i'll have a flange left all the way around the windshield channel to get up um what's left of it you can see where it's kind of separating from the underneath but um i'm gonna go ahead and do this to the other two solder or lead joints and then we'll come back and start cutting the roof skin okay so i'm gonna melt out this large seam here and uh like i said it you can actually see a line on it so it runs a little bit bigger um, now lead melts at about 600 degrees Fahrenheit, but at around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, it starts letting off a lot of vapor that will kill you, um, so, or poison you. So you want to, you want to get it as, you want to melt it out, but you don't want to get it so hot that it's boiling or, you know, letting off a bunch of vapor. So stay back from it, keep it at arm's length, uh, don't get burned, uh, Safety glasses. This mask may not be doing anything but making me feel better, but let's try it.
Okay, now that we got all that crap out of the way, if your quarter panel is good, or you're only putting skins on, but your roof skin is rusted, whatever, whatever the reason, if you're not changing this piece, then what you're going to do right now is you're going to go through here and you want to grind this weld down and that weld down, and then either use a spot weld cutter to hit all your spot welds that are very obvious, or like what I'm going to do, you just want to cut across here up above all that or you can just grind out your uh, spot wheels. Now what I normally do, um, I'll cut across there and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grind each individual weld. I'm just gonna grind the roof skin material down and leave the quarter panel skin. I'm not worried about this quarter panel in that case because I'm changing it, but if I'm gonna grind down a spot weld and I don't wanna damage the panel underneath, Using a spot weld cutter sometimes cuts into the panel beneath, and it, a lot of times it's not a problem depending on what you're using, what type of spot weld cutter you're using. Some of them drill holes in the bottom panel, some of them don't. Um, I just grind the welds off with this. That way I'm only grinding off the metal that I don't want to keep, and I'm leaving the metal that I do want to keep. Um, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not. It's what I do. Now I'm gonna cut this across, all down the side of the car, all the way around. Um, Depending on how much structure is behind it, I'm either going to use this or I'm going to use my air chisel. Okay, you can see where all the filler was pushed into the back. So a lot of that was rusted out. I just couldn't tell when I first looked at it. So anyway, the inner structure's uh, got a lot of surface rust, but not too bad. It doesn't look like I cut through anything important anywhere. Wow, rat's nest up there, ton of filler. Um, doesn't look like I cut through anything important, which is good. Uh, maybe a little bit right here, but I just scratched it. Looks like all this is okay. All right, so now what I gotta do is I gotta go through here and get the rest of the um, roof skin off of the under support so that we can get it all out of the way. Get all this cleaned up and ground out all the way down the drip rail get that pulled off. I'm going to unbolt these drip rails or unscrew these drip rails on the front so I can get to the edge of it. You can see right here it goes right up under there. Um, and then I'll get these out and then once I get that done I can kind of clean the top up, get all the crap off of it and then I can kind of test fit my roof skin. And at the same time once I get this piece off I can test fit my quarter and see exactly how it's going to set down in there. Okay. On this driver's side that was already cut at the bottom, I cleaned it up so you could see all the spot welds on here. There's about 20 factory spot welds, roughly. Um, this end is already right here. There was nothing underneath that, so it moves. Looks like the first weld is right here. And then from here to here is actually welded all the way through to this panel. So you've got roof skin on top, quarter panel underneath that, and then the inner structure behind it. Now, this panel is your quarter panel and it folds over and goes down here there's nothing behind that up till about right here and then there's another inner structure which is part of yeah part of this one folds up under that then you've got this inner structure that goes on top of the quarter panel metal so you've got this on top of it that on bottom this is in between there's no way I'm gonna cut all that apart and put the new quarter panel I've got in between those two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it, I'll cut it from right about here, right down that line. I'll cut the new panel right around this line. I'll lay the, the new one on top of this and then I'll leave this part on there and just kinda 
fold it over or cut that part off something I'll make some kind of joint in there but I'm not messing with this I'm gonna um, sandblast all this once I get the other quarter panel off I'll sandblast all this inner structure I'll put some 415 or something good on it that'll uh, keep it from rusting anymore and then I'll come back clean everything up weld through primer the whole deal but for right now I'm just gonna grind the welds back from here to here so I can get this panel off and uh, I'll cut around on this old piece of quarter panel and leave the structures alone that's back there. I don't want to get into all that. Okay, so I got that hacked off. Um, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Got most of that off. That's where the other one, old, the old cut uh, had went through there. I'll clean that up some. Anyway, <clears throat> like I said, so the quarter panel goes between this and the uh, this inner structure and the other inner structure. I'm gonna cut it off right there on that. I'll lay the other one on top of it and weld. So might try to put a little flange on this side and do the same over here, I'm not sure. Right now I'm trying to get this windshield channel off. So you can see where I've kind of went under here and pulled up a little bit on it. I've kind of peeled some of this off to get to a spot weld. And um, like I said, you can, you can peel some of it. I've hammered it back a little bit. I don't want to bend my inner structure so that I have to fight it to get the, the new one to fit, but you can peel a lot of that. You can peel a lot of that off. Like I said, it's pretty rusty, but then you're going to get to some spots that are still decent metal and are welded pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and I'll hammer this back some more. Like I said, I'm not hitting it very hard. I'm just hitting it hard enough to bend this back. I don't want to bend my structure. And then I'll grind my spot welds out. Go all the way across like that and I'll get all this old channel off. Clean up this piece. So I got most of it out of the drip wheel, drip rail. I cut through here on accident and I cut through right here on accident. Um, right now I'm pulling up this little bit. So what I did was I just took my ziz wheel and I went right down the edge of this and I was able to pull the uh, side of it up. And now I've got this little piece right here hanging. So I'll have to have to get the rest of that out. And there may be a few spots that's still welded. So I'll get that out. This mold seam still there. This is actually, I don't know if any of you are interested in this. This is your drip rail. So your drip rail actually comes down, folded up here, and then has a, a, a like a hem joint on it, so it's smooth on top. So that whole piece there is your drip rail. And then it comes down and has this piece welded onto it. Okay, so I got the passenger side drip rail all ground out. That was a pain in the butt. Sorry, shop's a mess, hard to get through it. I got too many cars in here, but all the storms lately, I'm trying to keep everything inside. So I had to ground all that out and I ground through in uh, one, two spots. I'll have to weld that back up, sand, uh, clean it up on top and bottom and then I'll fit the roof skin. I got some pitting rust here. I'm going to hit that, see how bad it is and might have to patch the top of the uh, apron there. I also went through right here. Um, I got the flange off all the way across. I've cleaned up some of it right here. I've got to get the rest of it cleaned up right there and I'm working on the uh, working on the passenger side now. So what I'm doing is I'm I've cut right here and then I'll, I'll cut this section up pull that out I'll cut these uh, let's see one two three four spot welds right there um, get those out cut this across grind that out and all this will come off and I'll be able to clean this up inside the drip rail channel man it just sucks getting that out I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's probably spot welded every inch and I'm just taking my ziz wheel like so and I'm just grinding out every little spot wheel and I'm trying to do the best I can to stay off of my, my inside of my drip rail because I'm skinning it up I'm skinning it up along the way um, and then I'm going to come back here cut this out of the way I still got to get the back channel off 
and once I get the back channel off which it looks like there's a lot less of it so um, it might come off pretty easy then I can clean everything up get the roof skin set on here see how it fits and once I once I'm pretty happy with how it sits I'll uh, go ahead and get this quarter panel off get everything sandblasted and um, then we'll get the next video where we're doing the quarters and stuff okay so I got all of the old outer warehouse off I drilled out these spot welds up here and up I drilled out the 8761 spot welds that go from here to here you can see each little one and there's still a little bit of material on there I'm gonna use like a 40 grit um, little roll lock wheel on my die grinder here I go by and hit those and it cleans it up pretty good um, most of that will go away pretty uh, pretty quick so There'll still be some marks on there, but you know, like I said, it'll be easy to weld to. It'll be all cleaned up. It'll be a lot smoother than the other side that I did not drill the spot welds at on. I used the air hammer on that, and then I ground most of the spot welds. Okay, so we've got the roof skin off, both quarter panels off, the wheel houses off, and I've got the new ones temporarily fitted on there with some screws. I've got my inners patched. Um, the only thing left to do now is figure out what I'm going to do with the trunk pan. Originally, I was not going to change the trunk pan. I was going to just tack the tail light panel in there that way I could slide the trunk pan out and replace it later but uh, I decided against that I'm going to go ahead and replace the trunk pan now so I'm going to cut the roll bar out uh, cut the trunk pan out as soon as my other one comes in and get it replaced and do it all proper like uh, just because this is a lot of work to put into a car not to do this part um, when I've got it to do the easiest and make it the best so anyway I've got the uh, structure all of the roof structure and all the inner structure sandblasted and I've got some rust converter and stuff on it so hopefully that's fine I've got to do some more blasting the factory floor on the inside is still there um, other than a whole bunch of holes where somebody mounted some seats it's in really good condition it doesn't have any rust through that I can find uh, not obvious anyway maybe when I blast it I'll hit a few small spots but it's in pretty good shape i um, going to cut the roll bar out like I said blast the whole inside take the dash apart go ahead and blast it and I'll get the uh, I'll get the whole thing coated in some epoxy, and then we'll get ready to put the quarter panels and the roof skin and all that stuff on. This is going to be a multi-part video just because it takes so much work to do this, and I want to get it all on camera. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Now it's 2021. That was filmed last year. Uh, that car has come a long way since then. It turned into almost a full-blown restoration. You know it, it happens you, you get something apart and all of a sudden will turn into a quick job you're just going to throw it together it ends up being a um a, a, a lot more time and, and money and effort involved <laughs> that sounds like frankenova doesn't it speaking of frankenova uh that's going to the drag strip here real soon now it's it's been a hectic year i took a couple of months off so sorry if uh, you guys didn't get any videos for a while but you know i, I just i had to um collect my thoughts, do a whole bunch of work, holidays, it was winter here, the weather sucked. Uh, I'm self-employed, so I stayed real busy. But you know, it's all good. Uh, I'm back, I've got a heck of a plan for 2021. It's gonna be a good year. We're gonna do all kind of crazy stuff with Novas and uh, also got the Henry J to work on. So anyway, stay tuned for part two of that video. It's probably gonna be a three-part video, maybe four. It's gonna include a paint job, but all the sheet metal and stuff, like I said, I'm, I'm working on editing the second half of that video. Uh, my laptop died and I didn't do anything with it. All the stuff was on there. Finally got it fixed. So I had all this stuff. I started editing and got it put together. And you just watched it, I hope. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Give me a like on the video. Leave me a comment. I'll try to answer everybody. See you next time.